Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In our last video, we got an introduction of functional interface. In this video, we'll try to understand the syntax of functional interfaces with some examples. So consider an example, example 1. Here we have an interface, interface 1, which is annotated by at the rate functional interface annotation. The interface has some default and static methods, but this interface has only one abstract method. Since we have annotated this with the at the rate functional interface annotation, so at the time of compilation also, compiler will ensure that there is only single abstract method. So when you will compile this code, it will get compiled successfully. Now let's look at it. So here we have an interface one which is annotated by at the rate functional interface and which has only one abstract method. Now let's compile this code. Java C interface one dot Java. Consider example two. Here we have an interface called interface two, which is annotated by at the rate functional interface annotation. Notice that the interface has more than one abstract method. Since we have used at the rate functional interface annotation, at the time of compilation, compiler will also ensure that there is single abstract method. But there are more than one abstract method. So here, compiler will generate an error that there are multiple abstract method. So to be precise, the error is multiple non-overriding abstract methods found in the interface. Let's look at it. So here we have an interface 2 which is annotated by at the rate functional interface and we have two abstract method, method 1 and method 2. So let's compile this code java c interface 2.java. Now you can see that you will get an error message, unexpected functional interface annotation and interface 2 is not a functional interface, multiple non-overriding abstract method found in the interface. Consider another example. Here we have an interface, interface 3, which is annotated by at the rate functional interface annotation. Notice that this interface does not have any method. That is, neither it has abstract method, nor default, nor static. Since we have used at the rate functional interface annotation, so at the time of compilation, compiler will ensure that there should be only one abstract method. But since there are no abstract method, so here compiler will generate an error that is no, abs no abstract method found in the interface. So let's look at it. So here we have an interface 3 which does not contain any method and it is annotated by at the rate functional interface. Now let's compile this code java c interface 3 dot java. Now you can see again we are getting a compilation error unexpected at the rate functional interface annotation and interface 3 is not a functional interface no abstract method found in the interface 3. So this was it for today in this video we covered the syntax of functional interfaces along with some of the examples in our upcoming video we'll see some of the scenarios of functional interfaces in case of inheritance. So we'll meet in another video. Hope you like the video. So do like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for yet another videos of Java 8. Till then, take care. Bye bye and thank you for watching.